Kun Tun Satit, are you going to spend sleepless nights over these cool rumors? Are you going oh. to be afraid that you'll no. wake up in the morning to find... Definitely not. No? No. Why are you so sh confident? Well, uh, How do you know Thailand has been having coups every, right. you know, two or three years, four years, five but, years? But for the people who have uh, keeping count, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, remember that Kun Jatapod has said the same thing for about the fourth time now. This is the, the fourth time that he made the mm -hmm. same prediction uh, and uh, citing some uh, uh, information from the United States. Yeah, it's very funny because mm -hmm. I think two days ago the CIA chief went to see the Prime Minister. And about mm -hmm. a day after that, Kuntatupan came out to say that American intelligence reports mm -hmm. say that there could be a coup in April. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether these two events were linked or not. Related or not. <laughs> but, uh, it's strange that he has to cite American intelligence. Mm -hmm. The three times earlier that he mentioned coup, he didn't mention any foreign intelligence. Mm -hmm. He just said he knew it. He was certain that uh, some people were meeting behind the scenes, were having a safe house in a meeting, but plotting. He even mentioned you know, people from this and that particular group. But this time he seemed to rely more on American intelligence. Well, and it also surprises me that Kun Jadupan seemed to give uh, credibility to this uh, so-called evidence from the Americans. Why the fact uh, he, he, he was reacting, uh, mm -hmm. he, he was giving no reaction to the American warning about terrorism <laughs> yes. uh, about a few uh, weeks ago. Which the Thai government wasn't happy about. Wasn't happy about. And said, no, the reports were not too reliable because, mm -hmm. you know, the threat wasn't all that bad. So, um, <laughs> so to speak, the, the Americans have some, uh, can, can I say, a poor record on making this uh, <laughs> prediction. So, yeah. but uh, Kun Jatapan seemed to have uh, seem to give this uh, a lot of weight uh, mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. latest uh, information. Mm -hmm. uh, we have heard nothing from the American embassy so far, and Kun Jing Lak, the Prime Minister today, she said that mm -hmm. she also hasn't heard anything on that sort. Uh -huh. the, uh, the only one coming out strongly against Kun Jatupan is the Defense Minister, <laughs> Sukampun. <laughs> but the Defense Minister supposedly would, should have intelligence from the American intelligence people, right? right? Right. So he should be one of the first people to know the defense minister. Yes, and he sort of come out and Billy told Kunja the point, he said that he should just shut up. Uh, <laughs> nothing will happen, uh, uh -huh. coup will never happen. Well, the army chief this morning was quite upset too, didn't he? He said, mm -hmm. uh, well, I haven't heard anything about the coup, and uh, I have to ask Kunja the point, who's going to stage the coup? Does okay. he know or not? Because a coup cannot be staged by anyone. Uh, people except the um, army people, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was an indirect attack on the army chief. That's mm -hmm. what he's trying to say. And Kunjo mm -hmm. has not. It is a game Kunjo Dupont always plays. You know, he uh, sort of wh whoever is the army chief mm -hmm. will be a subject of Kunjo Dupont uh, mm -hmm. speculation on coup. Mm -hmm. But this time it's not mm -hmm. only a press a statement, but he also held a press conference with the top red shirt leaders saying mm -hmm. that we're going to have a big, big rally at Khao Yai to mobilize the red shirts and we're going to elect a new executive committee to be ready for the coup or something along that line. I'm not sure. But it's certainly the other way around because Kun Jatupan seemed to be saying that uh, this rally was in response mm -hmm. to a, a coup possibility. Why, in fact, I think the uh, we believe that Kunji Dupan is raising mm -hmm. speculation about the coup uh -huh. in order to promote <laughs> uh, this uh, gathering on Feb uh, February 25th. Uh -huh. Now, if, if there were really rumors about coup, we should be worried. The people in general should be worried because no we don't want a coup. Mm -hmm. It's not a joke. It's not something that you keep, you know, uh, conjuring up just for a certain po political purposes. It's not mm -hmm. something that you should make as a normal routine kind of talk, mm -hmm. you know. But maybe Kun Chetapon is thinking that if he keeps making this kind of prediction, it will turn out to be true one, one day because uh, he will keep saying it every year uh, for the next maybe uh, yeah. 10 years or 20 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. And well, if you support <laughs> Chetapon, you would say that he's a very shrewd guy. He is mm -hmm. using this to prevent a coup. Right. The more you talk about it, the less... It's like a preemptive uh, <laughs> sort of strategy. Uh -huh. he, uh, the, the more he said it, 
the more uh, the army will have to come out to deny it, and uh -huh. it will be more difficult. Yes. In fact, for yes. anyone to stage a coup with Kun Jatupon, as a loose cannot like this. But then, if you are not supporters of Jatupon, you would say that you know by talking about the coup all the time, citing the coup as a political ploy, then you are making coups something that could happen any time. Anyone mm -hmm. can talk about a coup or th pl plotting a coup is. It's a normal thing, which which should not be the case. Should be right. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we we should not have a Clive Wolf situation <laughs> in, in in Thailand. And yes. When one day may Kun Jatupon may receive a really reliable information, and then he said that the people will stop believing him, uh -huh. and that would be uh, bad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, an, another motive for Kun Jatupon it could be um, it it could have something to do with a constitution amendment also, and also uh -huh. may, maybe uh -huh. the um. Uh, the amnesty law that mm -hmm. the government is trying to pass this year, mm -hmm. and could the department think that you know it's a sensitive thing, and the uh -huh. army could react, could uh, could be opposed to mm -hmm. the charter amendment or the amnesty law? So he has come out to say something like this to preempt what the army is uh, possibly. Well, you have missed out do. one very important uh, possibility. He, remember, he mentioned that if the constitutional court rules that he's not an MP, he's so qualified as an MP, ah, right. you're going to lose, let him lose. Mm. Instead of having him in parliament as MP, mm. if he's disqualified, you are going to let a tiger lose. Right. And and it could be more dangerous outside parliament than inside parliament. Yeah, he's giving some <laughs> uh, some glimpse of what could be if he so, is left. Yeah. Okay. So this really may be the main uh, motive behind all this very funny uh, spreading of rumors, which uh, no one wants to believe, but at the same time, everyone is sort of annoyed by uh, the the fact that the coups are being plotted almost every day. If you believe Kun Chetupon.